It's a new season, so time to grab a new scent. Here are the five top fragrances to try this autumn. Autumn or fall, hi, if you're in the US, is my absolute favorite season for scent. I think because we're out of the, we're out of summer, unfortunately, but now it's all about layering. It's about layering our clothing, getting a great new jacket, a coat. It's about comfort. And fragrance for me is a huge part of that comfort, having something that smells so good on our skin. So I've picked out five, they are down here, of my favorite fragrances, stuff that I just think you guys are gonna love across different price points. Also, there are five more. So after watching this, head to manfromself.com in the cards up there, and I have five other fragrances that are gonna blow your mind. Now up first is Russian Leather by Molten Brown. Now Russian Leather is one of my absolute favorite fragrances by Molten Brown. But what's different about this is that this is a new launch for 2019 and it is an Eau de Parfum version. So the previous one was an Eau de Toilette, but this is part of 27 new releases in the Eau de Parfum form. Really that means, what it means to us really, is that it is higher in concentration of the oil. So it should and will, I know for sure, last longer on the skin. What I love about this one and why I think it makes this list is that it is deeper and darker, but there's a spiciness to it that I think works so well. Now, in terms of notes, it's got elemi, bergamot and black pepper, a heart of geranium, birch and Siberian pine, and a base of leather, cade, vanilla, vetiver, and black amber. Now, although it does have bergamot in it, you know, summer fragrances are very bergamot heavy. They're zesty, citrusy, they're effervescent, they're, they just smell great. But the bergamot in this really is just a splash and just opens it. For me, it's the black pepper in the top that I absolutely love. And then into that base of the ambers and the leathers, it just sits so beautifully on the skin. Right, second one up. Now this is Halfetti Leather by Ben Halligans, another one that's just come out this year. The Halfetti by Ben Halligans is actually their bestseller. So when I saw that it was a Halfetti leather, I had to try this. Now what I absolutely love about this one is that it smells so premium, but there's also a slight sweetness to it. Now in terms of notes for this one, you've got top notes of bergamot, a heart of lavender, cardamom, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and a base of oud, patchouli, and leather. Now, this is actually named after a small village in Turkey, Halfeti. And what I, what I love about this, and what's actually quite similar to the Russian leather, is that you've got the really great weight and the base. It's almost a bit musky, but this one I almost think of as slightly more sort of ethereal. It feels like higher up in terms of those notes. It kind of just waves around. And then when it comes down onto that dry down, you're left with something slightly sweet and nutty. And that's with that cardamom and nutmeg. Now this is exclusive to Selfridges. As with all of these, I will link them down below and they're also on manfromself.com. So even if these fragrances aren't really to your own personal fragrance palette, there you go, there will be something there and something also within your budget. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my third one and that is Tom Ford Beau Du Jour. Whenever I do these, someone says, oh, another Tom Ford, or you've got this, or you've got that. But I just, I think Tom Ford fragrances are amazing. They last so well on the skin. They're all so unique, depending on what they are. And I just think that they very much have a place in my fragrance wardrobe. Now, this one is definitely a green fragrance. So I often think of actually green fragrances being quite 70s, if you think of sort of those 70 cents. But what's different about this is that you've got a slight, powderiness to it. Um, I liken this to one by Tom Ford called Lavender Extreme, which is very lavendery, great sillage. But this one has definitely got those greener, more herbaceous notes. And I think it's because of the rosemary in this. Now this has got top notes of lavender, a heart of rosemary, geranium, mint, oak moss, and basil, and a base of patchouli and amber. I often talk about fragrances with amber because I love the warmth that they bring. And I also think they've got this really great masculine tone to them. And again, they last so well on the skin. I think this works well for someone who maybe doesn't often like those sort of green fragrances. I mean, I for one don't, but this I see is very different. And 
it is that lavender powdery opening. And then the patchouli, which has got this great earthiness to it. And of course, my favorite, the amber. And I am always interested to know what your favorite fragrance is, be that for a season or just something you wear all year round. So let me know in the comments below. And if you like these sort of videos, please do hit the like button right now. Okay, next on the list, we have got Clean Reserve Smoked Vetiver. This is top notes of lemon, verbena, bamboo leaf, bergamot oil, quince and pear, a heart of blonde cedarwood, cotton peony, wild moss, and a base of gold amber, musk, vetiver, clean wood, and myrrh. Now this brand is actually called Clean Beauty Collective, but Reserve is part of the fragrances. They're all about having clean ingredients and also being sustainable and where they're sourcing those ingredients, which is really good to see, and also them really pushing this. Again, this is eau de parfum, so it is more concentrated in the oils, but actually out of all of these, this has the lowest longevity, so it lasts the least in the skin. Um, I don't think that's awful though. I, I, I do think it's because it is slightly lighter and brighter, so those ingredients tend to sort of um, evaporate faster. The opening of that lemon is so zesty and definitely gives it this instant punch and kick, which I like. A real sort of great transition from summer into autumn. And then with the vetiver and the woody notes on the base, it really does bring it down into something which is more appropriate for these cooler months. Also, this one out of all of these, I think is the most wearable. So again, if you're new to fragrance or you just want something which is very much every day, this is a really great choice for you. I just think it's fresh. Like it just, it smells good. And it is that lemon that I just absolutely love in this. So different from everything else on this list. And finally on my list is actually one that you might remember from my top five in spring. When I was going through these and I was having a spritz, I was just reminded of how versatile this one is and actually perfect for autumn. This is Bulgari Wood Essence. Now those top notes include Italian citrus zest and coriander leaf, a heart of cypress wood, Haitian vetiver essence, and a base of cedar wood, ambergris accords, and benzoin cyan. Now, this was created by Alberto Marias, who was a master perfumer behind CK1 by Calvin Klein and also Giorgio Armani's Aqua di Gio. What this really means for Bulgari is that you've got the sort of premium qualities of a Bulgari fragrance. You remember I've spoken about Le Gem. I absolutely love them. Tigar has been in one of my previous videos, but you've got someone who really knows how to appeal to the masses. And this is such a wearable fragrance with those sort of zesty top notes. But again, an another one which has got that really great grounding to it, especially with those sort of wood tones. I am, um, also the, the price point of this, I think is really very good. We actually found this one on John Lewis and it was around about the 50 pound mark. And it's actually around about the, the 80 pound mark for 100 mils. But again, these will all be updated on Man From Self with the best prices around. If they ever go on sale, we push that sale button and we update it straight there. But I, I love this. And I'm a big, big fan of the Bulgari fragrances. As I said, Le Gem, especially the Tigar, is one of my favorites. And it's actually in, here's a little spoiler for you, it is in the top 10 that I've got for Autumn Fall. So if you want to check out the other five, then they will be there. Head there, it is up there. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what your sort of favorites are. I will be doing far more fragrances. There have been loads of new fragrance launches and we'll be covering as many of them as possible. But thank you again for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe. The button is just there. That bell notification bell, it has to be on. Don't miss out. Also, more video suggestions down there. Link to the fragrance page is there. And my Instagram is up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.